Today we explain a psychological thriller movie recaps released in 2009. The movie starts and we are shown a man named Elliot, who used to do the work of preparing the funerals of the slain people, so that they can perform their last rites. But as we can see, the way Elliot used to talk to those dead bodies and prepare them with love like a friend. We understand that Elliot has been doing this for many years. Here we know about Anne who is a primary school teacher and how does the life of her boyfriend connect with each other. When Anna gets stuck between life and death, after this we are further shown that Anne's and Paul are getting intimate. Paul enjoy this thing was there, but Anne was not enjoying it at all. Paul asks Anna that what is your problem, but Anna doesn't tell anything. Anna is a primary school teacher and she has a great bonding with her student Jack. Next we are shown that Anne experiences very strange things in her school. The school ends, then she had to go and she just saw Jack out here and doesn't tell him anything, whether I should leave you home but Jack tells him that no my mom is coming to pick me up. Now after this, Anna arriving medical and takes some medicines and also she goes to a parlor and dyes her hair. Then she goes to her piano teacher's funeral and Anne was feeling very strange here too, as she looks like her piano teacher is breathing. Now because Elliot is here too and he sees Anna doing such strange things. In the evening, Anna's boyfriend Paul invites her to dinner and today he has brought a ring to dinner because he is going to propose Anna. Paul says, I am going to Chicago soon. After that both of them fight among themselves in a matter of things and Anna leave, without listening to things. Now the weather outside is very bad and Anna stay in her moving car, and she dialed a number after getting out the phone and then there is darkness all around. That is an accident of Anna. Now in the next scene, Elliot is shown who has a new body in his possession, and this body is not of anyone else but of Anna herself. The clothes are cut with a scissor and inside that Anne is wearing a very beautiful red color dress and was a deep wound on her head. Then Anna's eyes open here and ask, where am I? Elliot says, eight hours ago you had an accident and you were killed. But she doesn't believe that she has killed because she was talking to Elliot and she was also hearing him. After this Elliot shows her a death certificate that you have a funeral after two days and say that, till then your soul will stay in your body. Paul can talk with dead body because he has the power that he can talk to souls hanging between life and death. After that Elliot leaves but Anne still couldn't believe it, and she was thinking that it was just a scary dream of her. On the other hand Paul is shown and he called Anna, but Anna's phone is in Elliot's hand, and he disconnect Paul's phone. After that Paul reaches the house of Anna, where he knows from her mom that Anna has died, but Paul also could not believe this, and he is very sad. But here Anna's mom was looking completely normal, like he didn't feel sad about this. On the other hand Elliot was preparing the body for the funeral and it hurts, but it was not feeling the pain at all. After that Elliot gives an injection on Anne's neck so that her body muscles are completely relaxed. After that Anne's mom comes to see her and says that, the person is gone, but the grief that his family gets due to his departure. At the same time while leaving from here, she said it is also done that Anne's hair should be blackened again because Anne is looking very bad in these red hair. After this Paul is shown here, so that he can see Anna's body, but Elliot doesn't let him to see Anne, because only family members can meet dead body. Then Anna gets up and starts calling Paul but her voice does not reach much. When Paul goes then Anna asks, why didn't you let me meet with Paul? Elliot says that your soul will leave your body soon but if you stay attached to your loved ones, then your soul will remain fanned here. Anna thinks that Elliot is doing nonsense and I am still alive, maybe he has given me some drugs, so that he does not feel anything. On the other hand Paul goes to the police station to meet his friend, and his friend is a police officer. He asks the police for permission to meet Anna, but he is not given permission to meet her. On the other hand we are shown Anna is alone and she picks up a scissor and moves on. Then she sees another dead body here, and she gets very nervous after that. She waits for Elliot to come so that he can attack him and run away from here. But he survives the attack and tries to tell again that she has died. But she was not ready to accept this thing, because she is still breathing. Now here in the night she was in dream, where she was looking at the same dead body which was equal to her. But now if she has died, then how can she dream, after that she picks up things, and throws everything here and there. And this scene ends here. In the next scene, we are shown that Paul is in a very strange dream. On the other hand we are shown Elliot which is near Anane, and he is, about to go to get fuel in his car, but Anna secretly stole the key from his pocket. After that, Anna goes straight to Elliot's office, from where she calls Paul, and she tells him that I am still alive, but Paul felt that someone was joking with him, and that's why he cuts the phone. Now she is very angry for this, then Elliot also reaches here. Elliot shows Anna a mirror, and he tells her that look you have died before, and it would be good for you that you accept your death, by forgetting everything. 
but Anna notices that the feather is stuck on the mirror due to his breath, which Elliot cleared secretly. Now down here Anna's same favorite student Jack is shown and he sees Anna here. Now Anna takes the matter that she has died. Now Elliot further blackens the red hairs of Anna again. After this, Anna saw Paul in her dream, but Elliot also there. Now she asks Elliot whether my mom cried on my death. Elliot tells that your mom did not cry at your death at all. After that, she asks Elliot whether Paul cried on my death, but here Elliot tells him a lie that Paul did, not even cry. After hearing this, she is very sad, and after that Elliot gives her injection. On the other hand, Paul arrives at Anna's school where he had gone to get his things. But Paul meet the student Jack, and he told that he saw Anna is alive with red dress. But Paul thinks it is nonsense and he gives a slap to Jack which he regrets a lot later. On the other hand, a police officer comes with a dead body, where he saw Anna's dead body is moving there. But when he checks Anna's heartbeats then he thinks that it was his mistake. On the other hand, Paul once more tries to take the help from the police, saying that. Only by checking the pulse was told that Anna died. But there is also such a drug that can stop the pulse of a person for some times. Once his friend becomes convinced, but the police officer says that he had checked. But her heartbeat was not going on. After all this, Paul breaks badly. Jack, who takes a lot of interest in the concept of death, is impressed by Elliot. He is near him to know about death, goes to learn about things. Elliot tells him one thing that, I prepare the death people for the funeral, and those people who have died from inside. I have no other way for these people who are flats of filth around us and waste oxygen to those who really want to live, then Anna thinking that if she were alive, she would live her life better. She tells Elliot that she also wanted to live happily with that the people she loves in her life, but she was still not happy. Then she says that she realizes her mistakes. Elliot asks her that, if she gets a second chance, then what will she do? And after that he takes her outside the room but she again goes to the room and says that it is good that she got killed. Now she accepts her death and gets ready for it. But when she sees the mirror, then she sees her breath in reflection, and is relieved that she is alive. Before she can do anything, Elliot knocks her unconscious and her funeral is over. Paul is totally broken by her and he is not facing her face. After that Elliot asks him to move on, but he doesn't listen, then Elliot says that Anna is alive there, and asks Paul to go near him. Then Paul reached the cemetery and saves her, but the story doesn't end here. When Paul opens his eyes, he is in the basement of the Elliot, and it was all a hallucination of him. Paul never reached the cemetery. On the way Elliot got him an accident, exactly the same way like Anna's accident done by Elliot. Then Elliot tells everything to Paul. He also tells Paul that he gives one more chance to those killed people from inside to live life, and wants to see if they change or not. When they don't change, Elliot kills them, and that's what he is going to do with Paul now. Elliot tells Paul about his whole process, how he made them appear dead by giving them drugs, and how he created hallucination. After telling this, he also prepares Paul for the funeral, and Jack also there, who is completely impressed by Elliot and watching it. Probably he will be the next Elliot, and become a serial killer in future. 